Well, hello everybody, it is I, RBA. Welcome to my channel. If I haven't already met you, nice to meet you. Don't forget to good give this video a thumbs up and not one of those. Let's get to it. song itself. Okay, already I do love Lana. I have her in my car, like many artists, not literally or physically, because that would be quite something, wouldn't it? Already identifiable tone, her quality. That was just pure storytelling and just, I really noticed how intimate that was. I really enjoyed that. Let's watch on, because I know there's a lot to get from. That is just so Lana. Okay, so everything's like the vowels are very much accentuated, very much um, accustomed in the back of the throat there, and very much forward with the lips, aren't they? Blue jeans, la la. And then it's that ability to, I love the way she manipulates. La, da, 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 da. Very light and very much brighter. It's that transition, right? From the chest, it's always like, and then to the middle. Stroke head voice. I think it's, I need to listen. She is literally a beauty queen, I know. Can't help but pout when I watch this. Like, slight change of phrasing there, maybe to that breath. The end of time. That bit of breath taken there, maybe because she was just, I was gonna say, running around on stage. <laughs> Don't think she was quite running. It's almost operatic. <laughs> Well, I didn't expect that. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on the vocals, but she is absolutely so stunning. I want to be her. She is unique and I love her voice. I love her tone. I love the way she manipulates so many different nuances, so many different colors through her tone. I can like almost see the vibrations. That sounds weird. So much playful and it's like you don't know what's gonna come next. So you're kind of kind of guessing. Was that just me? Like, where's she gonna go with this? Yeah. Bit Kate Bush. Bit Kate Bush almost, which I never thought I'd say that. And I love her, her lower notes. I think she's most renowned for those lower notes, those chest voice register. Um, Beautiful resonance, absolutely. I like her, she's quirky and fun. There's a lot to get through.
did not expect that. That was quite raunchy. That was quite raw. And did you hear the edge in her voice? Like the raspiness. It was almost verging on rock. Queen. Very sexy. Felt that one. Sublime. It almost takes you to another dimension or another era, like 1950s. I've got a nostalgic feel to that. She knows she knows who she is, her identity through her voice, and she's quite an empowering woman, isn't she? And I don't think she takes any shit from people. But each clip is so different, isn't it? Yeah. They slide down. Into one. I've got a feeling this could be incredibly pitchy, but I think she's holding it together. Big sustained, good breath control. She's high as well. and crouching down under the posture. Majestical. That was fairy tale. That was fairy tale Disneyland or something, but not as headachey. Wait. Oh, flipping it. That piano. I just crutched into the piano. So, <laughs> oh, extreme breathy tones, but enough chord closure to obviously it's not like. Ah, ah, ah. She's she's doing that on purpose. Most people, actually, not everybody, does breathy tone intentionally. Sometimes they just. They need to have a bit more glottal attack. Um. <laughs> She's got a great ability to work with her breathy tone and her more stronger voice, you know, in the middle voice. And when she belts as well, but she has a great manipulation and she knows the right amount of dynamics to use and the messa de voce also. Then she goes soft, and then loud, and then soft again. It's quite interesting to watch, isn't it? <laughs> That guy in the background. I'm not gonna go back to him. Let's move on. It's it's the orchestration as well, it's the instruments, it's everything that allows this to take place, to allow her voice to come through also. I think I think the songwriting is incredibly important for her, like for her to express herself. Obviously, like that's what songwriting is about, right? Did you hear that? No, no. Nice little yodel there. Stylistic, it's cool. Can't help but pop How?
almost, that was like, yeah, operatic. With the vibrato as well. Did you hear that? That was amazing. I like the mix of staccato notes and the legato notes. It's it's kind of a mixture of everything, isn't it? And a few different fusions of sounds as well. I'm, I'm getting the, the jazzy tones. I just, I keep seeing 1950s. She wore blue velvet. Ah. Do you think she was born in the wrong era? I mean, I mean it in a really nice way. She's got a, a very certain style and she uses a lot of stylistic tooling as well and I find her really fascinating to watch and I would love to, just to see like spend you know a couple of hours with her at a bar like a whiskey bar with cigars I don't smoke I don't really drink whiskey I bet she has quite a lot to say it's really like an interesting life I don't know she's so deep-seated in her voice Put your red dress on. I love explosive consonants. Oh, I can't. I've noticed I can't put boo in my body. to remind you we're at the end all right i know i know she uh i know we all say unique vocals yes but that tendency i love the fact she can dominate in her head voice and she can dominate in her chest voice and it's kind of like where do i fancy going today i fancy going low and then i fancy going high and there's quite a lot of twang in her voice when she goes high but then she does that breathy tone chisel so it's not like she sings like this and then like that and that's it she sings like that, then that, then that, then that, then that, then that, then that. It keeps it interesting for the, the listener, the audience member. And she's quite a performer as well, isn't she? It's quite um, explosive when she's on stage. It's quite playful and fun for her. And I can see anything goes. Quite youthful when she ascends up into the register. There's a lot of, I can't, you know, playful. Could almost say she needs to develop that more, but I think she does that on purpose. It's, it's a choice she's made, maybe to stand out, or maybe it's just that's how she wants to express herself in that way, in that time, in that manner. I feel from the earlier clips, her resonance or her vowels, they're not as dark as they were. Or when, when she gets, like, through the years, it's kind of matured, but that's what voices do anyway, they get darker, but I can, I can see, or I could hear a darkness to it, they like it getting fuller sound with the res resonance. And nasal tendencies, a little bit I noticed in some of the songs. I love her and I, l 
I think she just brings something dynamic. She's pretty awesome, let's just face it, you know. She's cool, and I love her songs, and she's a great songwriter, so. Oh, hail the Lana. Go forth and carry forth your amazing voice and show your voice to the world, because hashtag never stop singing. Yeah, right, you heard it here first. I mean that. You are all marvelous creatures in your own way. You can get to do what you wanna do. You just need to change your mindset, babies, you know? You can do this, I have faith in you. Even if you don't have faith in yourself. I'm here for you, man. I've got to go, splashing me again. Lots of love, bye!